is popping YouTube. I'm about to show y'all how to how to update and you know get the turbo fire back on here and you know the other mode that come with the controller after you update it or if you're trying to update it I'm gonna show you all that so you go to coldjunkies.com I will put all the link in my description so therefore y'all can get to the website real quick and easy without dealing with the hassle uh, I, I will be doing that for you all so you're gonna click on that or copy and paste that into the to the search bar and it's right here, real big. What is it? The download customizer, whatever it's called. Let's minimize this. You once you do all that, as you download that, you'll get a little icon looks like the controller that says Turbo Fire 2 controller. We'll open that up, which I already did right here. Um, I already have the new update for the controller. So there's no there's no new update for the controller as right now, I guess, because if you did not update it, you will be updating now quirkling because you know you're on the website I wouldn't do it so you know you hear you have Remy pretty much saying nothing and there's no controller to you you know then you can do to it you have the analog stick sensitivity where you know how fast you turn around and everything else you know of course you got left stick right stick and all the fucking triggers you can sensitize and all that if you see notice I have I don't even make a notice from the uh, brightness of the camera or, or you know, my, my computer monitor. Um, I have my triggers at a full 200%, and it at 100%. Left triggers at 100%. Left sticks at 100%. Right sticks at 100%. And let's go to uh, feature and button layout. Like I said, I'm sorry for the glossiness of it. Um, I should have kind of like toned down the camera just a little bit. I'm not gonna redo this video because I'm I don't mess with the controller like that. So let's keep this real quick. Um, for the for the feature button, for the number one button, I automatically have the turbo fire function on the controller, which I do like. And actually, I had the low fire two. I mean, I'm low fire. I mean, the low recoil as my second button feature. But I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna put that as a sniper mode and assign that to it. And then you know, of course, you know all the features that it has on here. You have, of course, the turbo sniper mode, which is like a somewhat like a knockoff aim bite. It's a little bit. It does help you aim. It's a little bit better if you actually aim. It's a little bit. Low recoil to me, that does nothing at all. Sound player, um, it, it tells you what it does, but I don't feel like reading all this shit. Of course, you know, you can, you can remap the, uh, it's a, it's a COD remap for Halo Reach. If you have Halo Reach and you want the, um, the Call of Duty controls for Halo Reach, you can do that. Or you want the Halo Reach controls for Call of Duty, you can do that. It's on there. Or you can just remap the buttons all together. Now, remapping the buttons all together, that means you're going to make the A button your right trigger if you want to do that. The B button your left stick. Who knows why you want to do that. You can do all these things to the remapping the buttons. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't fuck up the controller like that. And that's that's, that's, that's that's your personal opinion. Hell, me personally, I wouldn't even update the game controller, honestly, because you automatically out the gate have the best thing before updating. Updating to me does nothing. It just, it, me, it hurts the controller, in my opinion. I'm going to tell you that again. It hurts the controller. So I'm going to say it one more time. Do not update this controller. I mean, I, like I said, if you really want to have a sniper mode with turbo fire, go ahead. That's your pleasure. But me personally, you're better off to buying the controller flat out and then having to work in that way. But you see right here for all the things you can do. Like I said, once you click on it, pretty, all you do pretty much, like I said, click on, like I said, low recoil. I'll click on low recoil. Hit assign to the controller. This way, it's already assigned to the controller. And all you got to do is disconnect it. Now, again, I'm going to put it back on sniper mode because that's what I wanted on. Assign to the controller. is there. I already had the turbo function was... I think everybody probably will keep one number one feature anyway because that's the main reason why you bought the controller for the turbo fire. So that will all max stay going on my one for me. And um that's about it for how you set this up. Alright. You must make sure that you when you click on it, hit the assign you know, get the assign settings for it. So it it, it will activate it on the controller. Alright? You know nothing else. After that everything is done all right so if you got turbo on number one and then you know number two you have like me sniper mode again remember hit this sign i gotta say more than once because some people will somehow fuck this up and then be all confused it's not that hard once that done 
simply unplug the controller. It's going to pop up. Of course, it's saying, you know, the Turbo Power 2 controller is no longer inactive with the website or with the program. That's fine. That's good. All right. All you got to do now is, of course, put the battery pack back on here. You are fucking good to go. Everything is ready for you to hop on Xbox Live. Go on. Go ahead and play your Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, or Black Ops, Halo Reach. And I bought it for two games because, you know, I already did the video that the thing ran a photo did not work with this controller. And everything will be there for you to fucking work. Like, I mean, like, it's there. You can, after you're done with that, you can straight go on, you know, over there and everything will work perfectly. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Normally, I don't even say that, but feel free to comment. And if you have any problems, I will try to get with you. It's definitely. Sometimes, you know, I get overwhelmed with all these comments about this controller. I just forget about them, and then I forget to get back at you. But other than that, I will try to do my best to get back at you. So this is King D with a quick trial or rundown on how to set up with the with the cold junkie performance for, for the customizer. And this is King D coming at y'all, and I'll be back at y'all in another video. Bye.